Hi, Peter from Window Cleaning World here. I'd like to talk about buckets on a belt. We have four different kinds, starting here with the Wagtail Hip Dipper. The Wagtail Hip Dipper is, is quite unique in that it has a soft plastic bag, which means it's very comfortable and gets out of your way if you're crouching down and it is easily detachable with these press studs to take it on and off your belt. Um, it has one main compartment, so no separate squeegee and mop compartments. But the big advantage, like I said, the little bit of water that might be here, if I squeeze this, the water level will rise and wet the mop up. Um, and so then you stick the other side in, squeeze the water up, and you, you can go off to work. Um, so that's the Wagtail Hip Dipper. Comes off quite easily. And uh, we also have replace, replacement bags for these. It's a double bag set up. You take these pins out and the bag slips off, but there's two bags there um, in case one leaks. Um, the other one that is slightly more budget range is the Edco hip bucket. Um, it features a main compartment and three single compartments that will fit a wide body Sorbo style squeegee as well maybe up to about 18 inches, I'll stick up about here. Uh, it has a deta detachable belt loop, so that can live on your belt and the bucket can be taken on and off if needed. Um, it's a good, good option. The only thing, um, the only slight reservation I have is it hangs quite low. So if your belt's about here and I bend over, it tends to hit the ground. And if you're bending over a lot, you, you may end up tipping water out onto your, sh onto your shoes or onto the ground if you crouch down too far. It's a minor annoyance. Um, compared to, say, the Unger belt, bucket on a belt, which hangs a lot higher so that when I crouch down with this one, um, it doesn't touch the ground. Um, also, when you tip water out with this one, you can, but you tend to often spill because the water, because it hasn't got a single pivot point, it's a little bit awkward because you're twisting the, the webbing and to tip some water back out onto your mop if it's running low is not as smooth as when you use the Unger bucket on a belt, which has a nice single pivot point and the water tends to run down this groove in a really controlled fashion and you can hold your mop underneath it and re-wet it with the little bit of water that you might have left on there which means you, you really don't need your bucket for quite a few windows. Um, the other feature I like about this bucket is, bucket on a belt, is you can have a, a little one inch scraper can live in that compartment. It has uh, one main compartment, two squeegee compartments that are connected, which means that the water that drips off your squeegee ends back up into, in the main reservoir and can be used like I showed you with the tipping out. Um, it, comes apart like so, so you don't have a loop that has to be threaded on. You could clip that anywhere and get past, you know, you might have a pouch here, but you want it just behind the pouch. You won't have to take the pouch off to put the loop in, so you can quickly rearrange the belt to suit um, the job that you're doing. Um, this is definitely a good one. There's the Tory Sidekick for your die hardy Tory fans. Uh, it's black. It also has a detachable belt loop. Um, it hangs just high enough to not touch the ground. Um, it only has one single squeegee compartment, which really only fits uh, a standard slimline channel or a brass channel, but it won't fit a Sorbo or a wide body channel. Um, the main compartment is still big enough to put a squeegee in with a mop just. Um, it's held quite securely with, with that groove. Um, quite a small buck, bucket on the belt. Um, still very popular. If you're using a wagtail flipper, um, they do not quite fit in any of the um, single, single compartments on any of these. Um, buckets on a belt so they always need to go in a main compartment 
works quite well on, on the EDCO hip bucket. Also works quite nicely on the, um, on the Unger one as well. The handle's out of the way, so you can have it in either way. I, I prefer to have it that way so the handle's tucked in behind me and it won't snag on anything. I strongly urge you to use a bucket on a belt. Um, you will prevent drips going everywhere. Your squeegee will be close at hand um, and you'll look a lot more professional and you're working more ergonomically. A belt setup really is a must for a professional window cleaner. Thanks.